Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I can generate document using a Google Docs template and also update the images uh, in, the, in the template document while generating a new document. To do that, um, so I've got this uh, Google Doc uh, template, which is a, a project pr proposal um, document. Um, I've kept it pretty simple. I just want to update the project name and project location uh, when I'm generating a, a, a project document for a specific project. Um, so one thing to notice is that uh, all the values you want to update, you have to in, put them in, uh, enclose them with the double curly braces like this, like project name and project location. And um, once you do that, you can format the text. So um, when we generate the document, uh, it's going to respect the formatting and the value value is going to get updated, uh, uh, but the for, uh, will keep the same format. I also want to update the image here. To do that, what you need to do is right click on the image, uh, click on the alt text, and here you also need to put a placeholder here. I say um, project image, and I just close it. So you just gotta put it in there, um, but again, the same thing, put it within the, enclose it with the double braces, braces, and then press OK. That's pretty much it. So this is our template. Now let's head back to Zenfi. Um, I've already created a flow. Uh, what I want to do, I want to go to Google Docs and generate doc using templates. Let me configure the, um, the action. I select uh, this was the template. As soon as I select the template, it's going to load those are the tokens that I've specified there. And also it's going to uh, look for image tokens and find them here. Uh, I can put the values here uh, would be my 2022 project. Uh, location will be Melbourne. Uh, these values is like everything else with Zenfi. They can come in from a Google form, Google sheet. They can dynamically flow in from very various places. Now, in order to configure the image, there's two things you uh, you need to um, uh, be aware of. First thing, you need to put an image URL, and the image should be publicly uh, accessible. So, for example, if you go to Google and if I search for Zenfi, um, uh, if I go to the image section, I can right click up any one of these images and say copy image address and Put it in here so that's going to do the job the other way to do it uh, if you've got an image on google drive and you want to use that image uh, there's a few things you need to uh, pay attention to first of all the image should be publicly accessible so which is for example this is the image i want to use i come here and to make sure it's publicly accessible i click on share and down here you want to um, make sure this setting is set with anyone with a view link, and its viewer is fine. And uh, that's a that's one thing I want to do. You need to copy the um, the, the the link. Uh, press done. So if I go here, if I paste the link here, I see the uh, the image. However. If you want to use uh, this image, you cannot use this uh, uh, this uh, view link directly. What you want to do, you want to uh, use it in um, in this format. You want to construct the URL in this format, and that's how Google Drive works. You want to um, have uh, https colon slash slash drive dot google dot com, and let me zoom in actually um, slash uc question mark id equals to and we got to get the ID. Um, I can get the ID from here. It's the value between the sla uh, those two slashes. Copy the ID, paste it here, and that's pretty much done. So this is uh, if this is only you need to do this if you're uh, hosting your file on Google Drive. Um, let's test it. Um, test the action. Actually, I'm gonna specify destination folder. And go here and say 
uh, use this folder and my 2022 project doc. And you can also generate HTML or PDF as well, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save this, run it. Let's head back here, Let's click here for it to show up. And here's a generated document. Let's open it up. And as you can see, not only these values were updated, but also this image got updated as well. Now, again, you, um, uh, one of the benefits of doing it this way is you can um, pre-format the image, like give it a border and all those things. And then when you replace the image, uh, it's gonna respect all those formatting as well. Well, hopefully you find this helpful and um, uh, thank you for watching.